So what I'm going to say to you is that you can have two options. Option one, separate your meditation practice from your communication session. All right. So say you have a communication that you want to do. Say to yourself, OK, I want to meditate because it really helps to ground me, really helps to you know, connect with my intuitive senses, really helps to open up my channels and provide the protection. Do that, say, an hour or before. It doesn't matter when you do your meditation because your meditation affects the goodness of meditation stays with you. Yeah. Then have your communication session a separate time so that when you're ready to communicate, you're feeling more energized. You've been for a walk. Communicate. All right. So that's option one. Option two, I really like, which is called staying appropriately engaged. It just means the state that you want to be when you're communicating is to be in a calm state, but you want to be focused. So like I'm talking to you right now, okay? You can have distractions going on around you, but you like what I'm saying, you're interested in what I'm saying, and you're staying appropriately engaged with me. You're not asleep, you're not sleepy, you're not distracted, you haven't got a thousand thoughts going in your head. You may have, but you're able to separate what I'm, what you know, the way that you're listening to me and all that's going on around you. So we have that ability, appropriately engaged, and we're going to give it a go. Okay. So I have an exercise that I want to share with you for you to experience what I mean by the state of staying appropriately engaged. So I'm going to slow down my chat for a moment and I want you to follow what I'm going to be asking you to do. So rub your hands together. Take a few breaths in and out. Loosen your wrists. Relax your shoulders because you've been listening to me talk and talk and talk and talk. So your brain will be all buzzy and just place your hands in a comfortable position about shoulder width apart. And just slow your breath down a bit if it's really fast. I'm mine's fast because I've been speaking fast. But if you find that you're actually quite sleepy or slow, you might want to kind of almost just wake yourself up. It's that nice balance between sleepy and overexcited. So you're in that calm, focused state. So now you can either lower your gaze or close your eyes. I want you to stay appropriately engaged and become aware of the sensations of your palms, of your hands. Be aware of your left palm. Staying engaged with what it is that you can feel or sense with your left palm. And with your right palm now, we were to focus your attention on your right hand and palm. What can you feel? Be aware and stay appropriately engaged with what's going on between the palms of your hands. You may even find that you're breathing slightly slower the more you stay focused with what's 
going on between the palm of your hands. Now start to move your hands ever so slowly and gently towards each other. Staying appropriately engaged with all that you can feel or sense between the palms of your hands as you move them closer together until they come to a natural stop. You can briefly open your eyes and just see where the position of your palms are. Is it where you thought they were when you had your eyes closed? And now I want you to play. So moving your hands apart slowly. See how appropriately engaged you can remain as you keep your focus on what's going on between the palms of your hands. And now you can vary the speed. You might move your hands really quickly together and then pull it apart or just move one hand. I like you're playing the accordion. What's going on between the palms of your hands if you, as you move them or keep them still? Okay, so we're gonna keep going for a little while more. Leave your hands in the position that feels comfortable for you. Now, if you were able to see what was going on in between the palms of your hands, what can you see? Do you get an image or a color or a shape? about if the space between the palms of your hands had a sound, what would that sound be? Are you able to hear it? Or does it come as a thought what the sound would be? Now let's try another one. If there was a smell, a fragrance, a scent, what would that be? How does it come to you? And taste. If you were to be able to taste what was between the palms of your hands, how would you experience that taste? An emotion. What are the feelings you can connect with between the palms of your hands? And sensation, what can you physically feel in the palms of your hands? Is it warmth, cold, tingling, anything else? 
Just let the information come to you. So take a deep breath and come back into the room and shake your hands.